The Todd Shapiro Show. Time to hit the button. On Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167. CEO Profiles. Yeah, dude, our own personal Gary V, an inspirational, hardworking, honest, candid, and cool dude, Brandon Ward from Lifted Innovations. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Todd, man. I appreciate the, the introduction there. It's, it's, you're too kind, my friend. Too kind. Well, it's not like I'm kissing ass or anything. It's true. Every time I talk to you, you get me going. You get our audience going. You get people going. You know, we put out all your little videos uh, of you on YouTube, and they're getting real good views, too. So uh, people, people dig what you have to say that, and you're not too, uh, you're not too hard to look at. <laughs> Maybe that's really, uh, really what it is. I think uh, just uh, the blessings there. Maybe that's ultimately what it is. Although, although I do think people are interested in learning what it takes to grow a business and build business, especially now, you know, entrepreneurialism is a big topic. So I could understand the interest there. Hopefully I can provide some value for your listeners, man. Thanks, dude. What's going on with uh, Lifted Innovations? I know you guys are in early st- stages, tech company, uh, growing also in terms of, uh, you know, people in the United States can can buy some cannabis products within that in the U.S. But, uh, I mean, this is, this, is, this is sort of go time for you guys. What's going on now? Yeah, dude, we're we the focus for us has been really heavily to since we sell accessories and things already to current customers, we're we're looking to capitalize on the C B D aspect with uh, the farm bill passing recently. So we're building our C B D marketplace, which is very exciting. It looks great. The uh, the branding looks really solid. So company wise, you know, operationally and those things, which is what I love about running a company, man, is I'm a bit of a nerd with strategy and things like that. So at this point we're just it's about getting things systemized, you know, as we grow, I think I told you last week, we're at 12 people. Now when I started, there was three of us and, and that was back in May. So we're growing fast. And as a growing company, that's part of it. You're ramping up, you know, that's why you want, you're looking to raise capital so you can execute on the vision that you have and get people in house. Because I know there's a lot of, a lot of talk about technology and automation, and that's very true, but you still need people behind these businesses, man, even with the technology and things, just because it's, it's so important. For, for that there's just a, a fundamental level of understanding that's needed so for us it's just getting systemized automating as much as we can with technology and as a ceo for myself it's replicating aspects of my job through hiring and that that's what we're really looking at doing and that's something that i i enjoy doing but it's uh it you know it requires focus and a lot of work one of the things I've sort of learned about a little bit from business and, uh, you know, sort of being an entrepreneur myself uh, is the term that keeps coming up uh, and whatever space or whatever product you're selling, but uh, is the acquisition cost of a client. Uh, how, how do you yep. guys sort of factor that into, you know, acquisition costs and to getting new new customers to Lifted Innovations? Yeah, no, it, it's, well, there's a lot of factors. The nice thing for us as an e-commerce company our, our the marketing efforts and acquisition costs are, are associated typically online, and we we stay away from traditional advertising like billboards or TV commercials and things of that nature, which are pretty highly cost or costly. When you get to a certain point, they make a lot of sense as you're growing business from a brand awareness perspective. But for us, our efforts are focused digitally, so we can analyze pretty easily what we're currently doing. Uh, with a limited space that we're operating in, we don't have traditional means in, in regards to Google, Facebook ads, and things of that nature. So a lot of our stuff is generated through influencers, content that we create through blogs, and in cannabis-focused related networks that might have potential consumers for us. So you can do some some advertising in that regard, a little bit of banner ads, and just telling a story. And, you know, really what we got to rely a lot on is is creating – genuine content that's valuable for our consumers, especially considering we're a marketplace. So for us, we're selling other people's products, right, Todd? So we're, we, our proprietary product is our platform, is our service, is the value that we provide. So we're looking to really offer education and, and focus for our customers. So that's, for us, our product is our platform and the value that we can provide to the consumer process because there's just so much information, man. It can be very confusing. So that's, that's kind of how we look at it. Like, how much money are we spending from a marketing perspective? How effective is it working? And, and how much are we retaining our customers, monthly recurring customers, that type of stuff? 
you as a CEO of Lifted Innovations, do you pay attention to other sort of, you know, nothing against you, but just bigger name, billionaire CEOs, and you look at a business that's a marketplace like an Amazon or Jeff Bezos, do you, is that a story you follow and try to emulate? Oh, for sure. I mean, you, you know, because the nice thing now, it, even though we're in a very evolving space from a regulatory perspective, there's a lot of things about this industry that's rapidly changing. So we're constantly looking for growth, but business itself fundamentally has been, you know, around for a very long time. So you can lean on individuals like Jeff Bezos or, or Elon Musk or other individuals who are growing, especially, in, you know, in, in the space specifically, Bruce Litton, right? Uh, Canopy's CEO. Yeah. So like these guys are, they're smart businessmen. You look to learn from what they're doing. And, and for me, I, I'm, I consume a lot of books. I'm always looking for, knowledge and information that can be applied to our business and and again not reinventing the wheel man like i'd rather just lean on guys who have already done it and apply those principles to our business i, I just i'm a very principle-based person so you can get a lot of that from guys who have already done it uh can i ask you sort of a silly question but more of an emotional one being the ceo of a company now you got 12 employees working for you and stuff does you come in you travel a lot you come in uh, from out west and you get to toronto and, and is it harder to motivate employees in times of the year where the weather is crappier or is it harder to to motivate employees when the weather is great because they want to be out doing other things or is it just always difficult (laughs) to get employees moving and going well yeah i mean that's those are two factors right i I think it's i the nice thing about what we do is we're inside a lot. We're building things. We're working together. So the winter time, actually, if you can get people to the office, <laughs> the problem is is before and after, right? But you know that's the that's why a lot of the companies now, when they grow, the culture is so important because you're looking to make it enjoyable being at the office. Now, ultimately, it's work, right? You know, I think you want to have you want to have good connections and relationships with your coworkers and things but everyone's there for business if the business isn't operating and doing well then none of that stuff matters but you know you want to make the environment enjoyable for them so that's that's really what you're trying to do you you want to incentivize them to be around the people that they're enjoying working with and getting them invested in what we're doing that's something that I love about being a growth growth phase company is you you're not you're coming in and you're getting you're rolling up your sleeves and you're getting your hands involved in a lot of different areas of the business. So your daily activities often is not the same. So it keeps it engaging, especially now in our time and age, you know, we hire a lot of, a lot of individuals that are in the millennial phase and, and uh, generation X or Y, excuse me, I think, yeah, I think I'm generation Y. Um, but uh, you know, attention spans, man, <laughs> you gotta, so keeping people engaged by a rapidly evolving business is, is helpful really because people are creatively engaged. Do uh, I mean one of the concerns that that I've heard from CEOs and stuff is also getting employees off their phones, off their you know computers when they're they're actually looking at other stuff and not doing work, whether it's Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram or that kind of stuff. Is that ever is that ever a concern? I mean, for me, not so much because I I loathe micromanaging. I don't think it's helpful. I think that's why the hiring process is so important. You want to you want to find people that buy into what you're doing and believe in what you're doing, and honestly, man, for me, it's just about being results oriented. If if we de- if we set out that a person owns a project for a portion of our business, setting timelines and and priorities for them to get things done in a timely manner, and if they're stuck somewhere communicating that, that's really what it's about. And you're you're not going to remove people are going to look at Instagram, people are going to Google stuff. You know, there's going to I think you want a healthy bit of that. You know, if you give them some freedom. Because that's how you hold people accountable. If you've assigned projects to them and there's timelines associated and work's not getting done, then you have a problem. But if things are getting done at a high level, like, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. And if you're going to poke around some Instagram on a break, you, we all need a moment to take out. I mean, I when I'm in the middle of my day, I'll take some time to scroll the Instagram feed, you know, and then get back to work. It's, it's a little break. Yeah, I guess micromanaging is is never a good way, is it? Dude, it's so exhausting. And, and it's also, you know, Todd, for me, dude, it communicates that you don't trust your team either. And that's what I was saying. Hiring is so important because if you hire good people and you trust them to do their job and you trust that they believe in what you're doing, 
then the work will get done. Ultimately, it's about the work getting done, you know. Otherwise, man, I, I, I'm just not a big fear guy. I never have been. I've, I've worked for companies like that. I've been around bosses like that, and I've always despised it. So I would rather give people more freedom to show me that they're capable of executing on, on priorities. And if not, that's when you have to, you know, you have to have those hard conversations sometimes. What about that sort of nine to five aspect of it? Is it, is, you know, I keep hearing a lot of companies, Brandon Ward from Lifted Innovations, they'll be doing, uh, they'll, they'll sort of let people come in when they will, leave when they will, but knowing that they'll make up for that on weekends and stuff, put a couple hours in here. Is that, is that something you like to preach? Yeah, we, we do something similar. You know, we, we have really kind of core hours where people are ex- kind of expected to be around uh, or available at least, but we give, we give our team a freedom. Like if they want to, if they've got something that comes up in their personal in the middle of the week and they need to go take a few hours or take a day here, then, then we give them the freedom to do that. But what you just said is, I can't tell you how many conversations or Slack messages or emails that we see flying around on, on my team independently of the work that I'm doing hours late into the evening and on weekends. And I, I, dude, I never require that of my team, but because again, I think when you get people who buy into what you're doing, they're excited about what you're doing. They have the chance to help you solve tough problems. You know, people really want to be engaged, man. You know, like we live in a world now that's just, we're inundated with information and noise and distractions. And so when you have the chance to really solve hard problems and, and use your critical thinking, it's satisfying in and of itself. And that to me is what we, what we, what we offer. And that's, what's exciting about being a leader is giving the chance for that type of thinking and engagement to thrive. Awesome. Brandon, well, Brandon Ward from, Lifted Innovations, always appreciate uh, your advice and your tips as we document your experience of running a new company uh, into a massive company. And the one tip I'll give people is if you are sort of working from home and not always getting in and you got to do one of these Google Hangout type of meetings, make sure you're not sitting in your underwear as I did uh, earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least, at least the top half, you know, maybe maybe yeah. make sure your hair's okay and you have a shirt on that's decent. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, otherwise... forgot. <laughs> I forgot that the video camera pops on. You got to be real careful. <laughs> yeah. I, I just played it yeah. off as I was being a rock star and had a long night, but that's far from the case. You can do that, but if you're in accounting, maybe not so much, right? So I, I, you, exactly. the good thing is, before you hop into those meetings, you can turn the camera off before you enter it. Word of <laughs> right, like you can you can do all that stuff before you enter. So there you <laughs> that's go. Good advice, that's Todd. maybe more important advice. <laughs> Never have the camera on. Uh, Brandon, thanks again. I love these catch up. We'll put this video out on YouTube. People seem to really be digging them and put some clips up on social media later. We appreciate all your advice and uh, good luck, and we'll catch up next week. Brandon Ward, Lifted Innovations. You're the man. Great, Todd. Okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. Have a good one. All right. Thanks, bud. Cheers. This is the Todd Shapiro Show on Canada Talks, Sirius XM 167.